In this video, we will see in brief what is rate of reaction and how to calculate it and then we will understand that how one of the factor that affects the rate of reaction that is pressure affects the rate and in collision theory, in terms of collision theory, how pressure affects the rate and then we will see that how does the change in the pressure changes the graph of concentration versus time. So let's first start by understanding what is rate of reaction. In short, what is rate? Rate is a measure of the speed of reaction. That is how fast the reaction is. And we can measure it by how fast the products are formed or how fast the reactants are used up per unit time. And rate of reaction can be calculated by measuring the amount of reactants used up per unit time by some method or the amount of products produced per unit time. Now let's understand that how does pressure affects the rate of reaction. Now increasing the pressure, this brings the reactants close to each other and because of that if the reactants are brought close to each other it increases the movement of particles because they are close to each other then collisions will also increase and as the collision increase as they are brought together the collisions increase and as collisions increase there will be greater number of successful collisions per unit time. Now, if the greater number of successful, successful collisions means there will be more number of collisions that will end up in forming the products. We can we have earlier seen in other videos that there are many collisions, but all the collisions doesn't end up forming the product. They are not called successful. But the collisions which forms the product are called successful collisions. So increasing the pressure brings the reactant particles closer and there will be frequent collisions happening. And so successful collisions will also increase and hence the rate of reaction increases. Now this is the graph of increase in the concentration of products versus time. So as the reaction proceeds, how does the concentration of product increases? Now in our earlier video, we have also seen that at any given particular time, we can calculate the rate by drawing a tangent at that particular time and then finding the gradient of this tension that is the change in the concentration divided by the change in the time of that particular tangent at a given time. So we can say that the slope or the gradient is going to give us the rate and rate is calculated by subtracting the change in the concentration that is on y-axis and divide by the change in the time which is on x-axis. So we can say that change in the concentration of product divided by change in the time will give us the slope. Now we should also understand one thing that the pressure is going to affect only when the reactants and products are gases. For example, there is a nitrogen and hydrogen reacting to form ammonia now if we balance the reaction we need to have three here and this is a reaction where the reactant and products are gaseous and so if the pressure is increased the rate of reaction is going to increase due to the increased collisions now how is the graph going to change the graph will have a greater gradient the higher rate will form a higher slope and so the reaction will end up faster and it will have a higher slope so you can say there is a steeper slope or steeper graph with increased pressure so the new graph that is at higher pressure and the graph the line with the lower steep is for the low pressure of the 
reaction so this is how it's going to change so you can say that from this the point at which the time at which the graph becomes horizontal is the time at which the earlier reaction got over with the lower pressure but with the higher pressure we can make out that the reaction got over that is the graph became horizontal at a time which is earlier now which is smaller time now so this is how the change in the pressure affects the rate of the reaction